The history of the phone is a fascinating journey that all started in the 19th century with the invention of the telegraph. Alexander Graham Bell is credited with inventing the first practical telephone in 1876. Now as you can see here, the early phones were big and bulky. I always call it massive. Sometimes they say huge. And they had to be connected to a switchboard to make a call. A switchboard was like the traffic controller of the phone system, with operators plugging and unplugging wires to connect calls between different places. In those days, making a phone call was quite the difficulty because you had to wait for an operator to connect your call, and conversations were limited by time and distance. Back then, long distance calls were considered a luxury, and most people communicated through letters anyway. The journey of mobile communication all began with car telephones. In the mid-20th century, the first car phones were introduced. These Bulky devices were installed in vehicles and connected to a network using radio waves. One of the earliest systems was the mobile telephone service, MTS, launched by AT&T in 1946. However, these phones were very expensive and had limited service coverage, making them accessible only to a few. The MTS allowed users to place calls from their cars, but had many limitations. The system required a massive infrastructure, including large antennas and transmitters. Calls still had to be manually connected by operators, and there were only a few channels available, which meant people often and had to wait to make a call. Despite these limitations, the introduction of the car phone was still revolutionary. It allowed business executives, emergency services, and government officials to communicate on the go, which was a significant advantage at the time. Motorists in the north know that Earth hath her triumphs, no less renowned than the moon's, and the latest one is a radio telephone in the car. Within range of two VHS stations, the driver can make and receive calls from any phone in Britain and Ireland. The conventional exchange connects with either of the two radio stations and it's up to them to put the call through to the car. If it goes well, the idea will very likely catch on and cars everywhere will be phonable in touch with home and office. Radio phone service, please. Central 4222. South Lancashire radio phone. I want car A100, please. I believe they're in the Wigan area. Exchange calling A100. Where are you, please? Thank you. Will you switch to channel two, please? A Wigan or Mr. Curris. I understand that you are around about the Wigan area. Yes, that is correct. Uh, I was hoping that you would come into Manchester, but we've had a call from a client of ours in Liverpool, and I would like you to go over there if you would now, please. Over time, phones became smaller and more portable, and they were able to connect to each other directly. In the 1980s, the first mobile phones were introduced, and they quickly became popular. Look at this dude! These phones were large and expensive, but they paved the way for the smartphones that we use today. The Motorola Dynatech 8000X, released in 1983, was the first commercially available handheld mobile phone. It was big, heavy, and had a very limited battery life, but it represented a huge step forward in mobile communication. The big, gray, bulky phones of the 80s and 90s became iconic. Often seen in movies and TV shows. On April 3rd, 1973, Martin Cooper made the first public call from a handheld portable cell phone while working at Motorola. He shepherded the creation of this very first cell phone, but I believe you also made the very first public call out on the streets of New York. Yeah, I did. There's nothing uh, more worthless than having two people sitting in there talking to each other when you're trying to talk about the freedom that you get from having a cell phone. So we met this guy on 6th Avenue in New York, in front of the Hilton, and we walked down the street, and then I had to make a phone call to demonstrate it. So, uh, and I know it doesn't sound reasonable, but it was serendipitous that I thought, you know, I'm gonna call my counterpart in the bell system. And, and uh, I took out my paper phone book to give you an idea of, you know, what, how we used to do it, and I looked up the number of uh, Joel Engel, who ran the Bell System car telephone program. This is your arch rival. And he was. <laughs> uh, and I dialed his number, and amazingly, uh, he answered, not his secretary. And, uh, and uh, I said, uh, hi, Joel, it's Marty Cooper. He said, hi, Marty. Very polite. And I said, uh, Joel, I'm calling you uh, on a cell phone but a real cell phone, a personal, handheld, portable cell phone. Silence on the other end of the line. <laughs> so we, we had, a, my recollection, a nice conversation. Uh, Joel does not remember that conversation to this day. I, I guess I don't blame him. As mobile phones continued to evolve, a new form of communication emerged that would change the way we communicate forever, texting. 
On December 3, 1992, engineer Neil Papworth sent the first ever text message from his computer to a colleague's phone on the Vodafone network in the UK. The text simply said, Merry Christmas. This small event marked the start of SMS, or short message service. Initially, text messaging was slow to catch on. Mobile phones at the time were primarily designed for voice communication, and many early phones didn't even have the capability to send or receive texts. But as technology advanced, phones began to include keypads that made it easier to compose messages. By the late 1990s, SMS was becoming even more popular, especially among younger users. Text messaging soon became extremely popular across the world. It changed the way people interacted, allowing for instant communication without the need for a voice call. Terms like LOL or BRB entered everyday language and texting became a primary method of communication for many. By the early 2000s, texting was a dominant form of communication worldwide. In 2007, over 2.4 billion text messages were sent daily across the globe. Texting had become an important part of modern life. The impact of the first text continues to be felt today. SMS paved the way for other forms of text-based communication, such as instant message apps, and more impressively, MMS, which is Multimedia Messaging Service, which Apple integrated into their phones in June of 2009. In the mid-1990s, though, phones started to feature physical keypads, making it easier to type numbers and letters. The Nokia 3210 released in 1999 was one of the most popular phones with a keypad. It was known mostly for its durability, long battery life, and the game Snake. Before the Nokia 3310 became an icon in 2000, Nokia had already made significant progress in mobile phone technology with earlier models. One model was the Nokia 3210, released in 1999. This phone was one of the first to feature an internal antenna, making it sleeker and more durable than any previous model. The Nokia 3210 quickly became one of the most popular phones with a keypad. It was affordable, easy to use, and packed with features that appeal to most people. But one of its best qualities was its legendary durability. Nokia phones were known for being extremely robust. These phones could withstand a lot of wear and tear. Today, smartphones are more than just communication devices. There are cameras, maps, our entertainment systems, and so much more. The first mobile phones with cameras changed how we capture and share moments. The JSH04 by Sharp, released in Japan in 2000, was the first commercially available camera phone. It allowed users to take pictures and send them to other people. In 2007, Apple launched the first iPhone, revolutionizing the smartphone industry. The iPhone combined a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator into one device with a multi-touchscreen. It set the standard for smartphones and introduced the world to an app store, changing how we use our mobile devices. Samsung quickly became a major player in the smartphone market with its Galaxy series. The Samsung Galaxy S was one of the first to rival the iPhone with its Android operating system and high quality display. Samsung continues to innovate with its Galaxy series, offering cutting edge technology like folding screens. Google entered the smartphone market with its Nexus series, providing a pure Android experience. The Nexus One, also released in 2010, was the first in the line, known for its clean interface and prompt updates. Google later transitioned to the Pixel series in 2016, which they still do today, which featured advanced cameras and AI capabilities, setting a high standard for Android devices. BlackBerry phones were once the go-to choice for business professionals, known for their physical keyboards and strong security features. BlackBerry devices, like the BlackBerry Bold, released in 2008 were essential for corporate communication. Though less dominant today, BlackBerry's influence on mobile productivity and security remains significant. Over the years, phones have evolved from car telephones to powerful smartphones that vent our pockets. Each milestone has brought us closer to the advanced devices we rely on today. Smartphones have revolutionized the way we live our lives, enabling us to stay connected, informed, and entertained wherever we go. They've changed the way we work, communicate, and interact with the world around us. Looking ahead, emerging technology Technologies like 5G, AR, and AI promise to further revolutionize the capabilities of smartphones. The possibilities are endless, and with new technology on the horizon, the future of phones is brighter than ever.